Well, I finally got down to hunt my favorite place in West Virginia, uh, my farm in Roan County. Uh, I had several days to hunt, uh, well, almost two weeks to hunt, and uh, I was real excited about getting down there. Well, I made it to the farm last night about oh, 10 o'clock. I had a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff to unload, so I didn't get to bed until late, and here it is, uh, 4.45, so, and I'm uh, getting ready to go hunting. Nate will be here this evening, uh, probably about 3 o'clock, and uh, throw him in a tree stand quickly, and uh, we'll be ready to go, so. We'll see how today goes. I'm pretty excited, excited to be on my farm. See you in the tree stand. Doe right up here, and we're going to put the Indian sneak on her. I'm a bad Indian. Well, it doesn't help that I'm all dressed in white and jeans, too. After several days of hunting and mainly seeing small bucks, I uh, was ready to take a doe. Now, I had seen some decent bucks in the area. I had a lot of trail cam pictures, so I wanted to be real, real careful about how I did it. Uh, but I got in my stand one morning and just had a, a beautiful morning and a real nice doe come in and uh, I was real happy to take her. Well, it's day three. Day three. It's been a weird morning already. I had a doe come in. Like she looked just like a buck on the nose to the ground, running. While I was filming her, a horse comes in running down this road that I'm on. I don't know whose horse it was, but it was going full bore. Then, right after that, all these deer that were in here got freaking nuts. And the buck that I was going to shoot. It's all me. Busted out of here. This is all before 7.30 in the morning. It's a rainy day. I don't know how much filming I'm going to do because it is raining. But uh, we'll see what happens.
Đấy. That wasn't a very good shot. But my rage had her pumping. I'm sure she didn't go too far. Easy silver. This kind of stuff only happens to me. Well, got a doe on a rainy day today. Pretty happy with it. I've uh, been trying to kill a doe on camera all year. And it just has not worked out at all. So I was pretty tickled when this one gave me a shot. I didn't hit her like I wanted to at all, but I clipped an artery. I guess that's the good thing about using a big expandable. They say are big. So. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with it. <clears throat> I'd like to have uh, killed her older brother, but there's always this evening or tomorrow for that. Well, after four days of hunting with a bow, uh, rifle season rolls around. And while I was a little bit disappointed that I didn't get the job done, with the bow I was really excited to get out with the rifle and every year I end up feeling like a little kid right before Christmas uh, even though I, I call myself more of a bow hunter I love getting out and shooting deer and it doesn't matter what what the weapon is so anyway I, I get out Nate is with me my dad is with me we're all hunting the farm which hadn't happened in a long time and uh, a buck that came in that I've had on camera for two years and he's never grown at all. Uh, not that he was necessarily a management deer, but I decided I'd just call him that for the morning and uh, got a good shot at him. Well, it's the first day of West Virginia rifle. And, uh, see some deer. There's been a bunch through here already this morning before daylight. So I think it ought to be pretty good. But uh, stick around. And maybe I'll finally fill a buck tag in West Virginia. Six. Normally I wouldn't shoot a six point, but this one, uh, he ain't a tiny one. A lot of years I probably wouldn't shoot that buck, but he's pretty and I like him a lot. 
so hopefully <clears throat> I got him I put a good shot on him I know I did hit him right in the shoulder right where I was aiming but uh, I'm gonna get down here see what kind of blood we got uh, see how good I did hit him I'm pretty sure I got him certainly no giant but uh, he's no baby either the first time I saw him I knew I wanted to kill him uh, I just think he's a cool looking deer uh, hunting a little bit bigger buck than this a lot bigger buck than this but I'm not going to pass up any chances uh, the deer makes me happy I'm gonna kill him and uh, this one sure did I'm pretty tickled with him uh, I'll get an age on him and uh, see exactly how old he was because his body's a tank. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you get to see me with a little bit bigger one next time. But uh, I'm happy. Well, not only on the first day of rifle season did I get to score, but uh, my good buddy Nate, all the way down from PA, uh, he got to go out and he killed a pretty nice buck too. Uh, this was the first time in all the years that me and Nate hunted that we killed a deer on the same day So we were both just pumped about it and not only was time a factor, but uh, Nate was just a little bit discouraged after bow hunting and not seeing much Well, Nate killed his just a few minutes ago and I got mine this morning So it turned out to be a pretty good day it Didn't look like it at first, but uh, It was successful and me and Nate, after six years of hunting together, finally killed deer on the same day. So we're pretty excited. Turned out to be a uh, pretty, uh, pretty good ending to the day. I was just about ready to get down out of the tree and just call it a trip and head home. And this guy come walking around the bend and put a good shot on him. And Grant had already shot his in the morning. That was one of the bucks that he was looking for. Had a lot of trail cam pictures of it and finally ended up getting it. So, turned out to be a very good West Virginia trip. 180 inch right here. 165. <laughs> well, after the first day, I decided I was waiting for a pretty big buck. I had an eight point and a 10 point on camera that were both really nice. and. Finally, one of those two bucks, I'm not sure which, came in. And the problem was I shot and hit a limb. I was extremely disappointed, but I got back in my stand and decided to tough it out for two more days. Well, as luck would have it, on the very last evening, with maybe five minutes of light left, what I thought was one of my big bucks came in. Gave me a wide open shot, uh, I took it. I wasn't able to get it on camera. Uh, I couldn't get the camera into position and I probably wouldn't have had enough light anyway. But I, uh, I did kill a pretty nice buck and boy, I was excited. Well, yesterday evening, right at dark, this fella came in. Uh, I thought he was my big eight for sure. I was real excited. Thought I'd killed my big eight, but he's not. He's a ten, or he's a nine, or a nice heavy nine. And I was uh, absolutely pumped to kill him. I don't really care that it's not my big eight. Uh, you know, he's a heavy buck. 
He's probably a four-year-old buck. Um, not one that I've ever had a picture of, which was neat, you know. I love hunting bucks that uh, I know real well, but uh, I don't know him at all. But I was pleased to meet him. But it's been a tough week. Well, a tough week and a half, really. I uh, sat pretty much in the same stand for all those two weeks. Hunted in the same spot in a big low gap. And uh, it was tough, but it was fun. This dude's an old fighter. He's all scraped up and scarred up on his face. Uh, yeah, absolutely blessed. Happy to have a understanding wife that lets me do stuff like this uh, I'm just absolutely tickled to death last evening I was allowed to hunt and I got him uh, wish there would have been video but things ain't always perfect but it turned out nicely for me well, all in all I had a great year uh, I got to hunt my farm for two weeks straight. I got to hunt in Greene County, PA, and York County, PA. I got to hunt up here in Fairmont, close to home. And I killed two nice bucks and shot a doe for meat. Uh, it was a great year, and uh, I hope next year is just as good.